Hey guys, what's up? So we're back. Thanks again to you guys. We have another investment app that I'm exploring for this video. Without your suggestions, I probably wouldn't have heard of this or probably wouldn't have pursued reviewing this. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Seed In investment app. What is Seed In? First and foremost, this is different from what I've talked about previously as Seedbox Philippines. Those are two different apps. So what is Seed In? Basically, Seed In is a matchmaking app. No, 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 not that kind of matchmaking. Through Seed In, businesses can be matched with retail investors such as ourselves. What do I mean with this? If you are a business owner and are needing some capital requirements, perhaps you have to fund your next inventory, perhaps you are working on a renovation or you are expanding your business and you are needing some capital, they can get a short-term loan facilitated by Seed In, and the loan is actually funded by us, small retail investors. So it's actually kind of nice that through Seed In, it's actually businesses that are coming to us, individual investors, so that we can help them fund their next projects. So why would you want to invest in this as an individual investor? The great thing about Seed In is that unlike the stock market, your investment here is actually guaranteed. Well, contractually guaranteed anyway. Now for sure, you can probably get quicker and faster returns through the stock market or crypto or Forex. But the good thing with the investment funds that Seedin is offering is the contractual guarantee that you will be paid according to the percentage of the project that you're investing in. According to their website, the average annual returns of their project is at 7%, so I've seen it as low as 4% for a one-year project, and probably as high as 10-12%. to 12%. And just as a disclaimer, this isn't going to be annual returns. This is going to be specific to the term of the project, so it, so it can be as short as 4 months, 3 months, or a year. I'm not sure if there are projects more than one year. I haven't come across it just yet. I think. Anyway, I find these investment prospects via seed in really interesting the returns are better than investing in bond funds again not as high as stocks or other high risk financial instruments it's right there in the middle moderately risky what i like about it is that i find seed in in the app and their investment fact sheets their contracts i can see that they're very detailed of course i'm not a lawyer but if you really wanted to go into the details of the investment so Seedin really backs you up as an investor and makes sure that the money being lent to is in good hands. The company, before being lent to, also goes through a rigorous process of reviewing the financials, their bank accounts, the project that the money is going to be used for, um, the financial statements. You as an investor don't have access to these financial statements, but that's what you will have to delegate to Seedin. Mostly as the underwriter, they are the ones assessing if the company is in fact able to make good in their loans and pay you on time. So again, the contracts are very detailed. I didn't read the entire thing, but I did skim through it. The contract actually stipulates what happens in, in the case of default. There's a receivership process. There's a whole process there in case that is not able to make good in their loans. Seed in has put processes in place so that you as an individual investor has less risk exposure since it's in Seed In's best interest to keep you happy as a user and for you to keep investing because this is really their business of matchmaking businesses with individual investors. The minimum investment required for Seed In is at 1,000 pesos. So that's a good starting point. If the returns are at 7%, your returns after one year or whatever the loan period would be would appreciate by 7% or 70 pesos. I know that's not much, but again, this is just another investment to include in your diversified portfolio. If you have more money to put in, by all means, yes. I mean, if you put in 10,000 pesos, that's 700 pesos in a year. So not bad. That's better than a savings account. That's better than a bond fund. On a bad year, that's even better than an equity fund. And by the way, just as a disclaimer, the businesses that you'll see here are more on the small to medium sized businesses. You probably won't come across the large enterprises. They're probably retailers, manufacturers, and software companies that you haven't heard of before. That's why it's actually a good match. And a market for seed in 
to be matching these small to medium sized businesses with you as a private individual investor. I've been meaning to do this video on Seed In for a while now, but when a new project gets uploaded onto the app, I've noticed that they get their funding right away, in a matter of days, in a matter of hours even. You have to be really quick in committing your funds and joining a new project that Seedin has put up. Anyway, that's why I did this video now because, because I can actually share with you that I am investing in one of their newer projects. What project is that? I'll share that with you in a future video. And by the way, in terms of returns, not just the interest rates vary, but also the means of payout. Some have monthly payouts throughout the term of the entire project, while there are those that have a balloon payment just at the end. So with Seedin, it's not straightforward, and that's a good thing. You actually have to look into it yourself. What is the company and project that you're helping fund? What are the interest rates? And what are the terms of payment? So yes, Seedin is actually one of the more interesting investment apps that I've come across. Really curious to see how this plays out. I'll make sure to keep you guys informed with that. If you guys come across investment apps that you want me to review, let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys, and happy investing!